So it's Friday evening, and it is 6:52 p.m. And we think Little Winter is going into labor. So I think we have some early contractions going on. She's uncomfortable, restless, up and down, up and down. And she is actually, I think, two days past her official due date because um, we did actually watch her uh, get covered by almond. So we're here. I got my trusty sidekick, my uh, Valentine. Yes. Um, and so we're just gonna keep an eye on her and watch her and see if we can catch this live. So as you can tell, she is pretty big. Uh, I'm hoping for twins. Otherwise, I think this was probably an adult baby in there. Um, but Winter is a great mom and we're very excited for her babies. We actually have a wait list for our cashmere babies, uh, which might be unfortunate for them because I think um, all Winter's babies are claimed. So that's unfortunate for that but we do still have spider who is waiting to catch and by that i mean have her babies um, it's been a long day today was also a work day so um you know i'm getting a little tired we're building non-stop here taking advantage of this lovely weather and uh now of course we're gonna do this and because of the signs that she's showing it means there's probably no supper for me tonight and very little sleep. So we're gonna keep an eye on our little baby girl here. She is actually one of the first goats if you've watched any of our previous videos. She is the first little lady that we had on the farm. So she is kind of the Tango Flock Elite and we love her to pieces. And her baby last year was pure white and just stunning this year I'm I'm for sure keeping something from winter and then I have a backlist of, of uh, people wanting some babies so we'll see what she gives us and whether or not they get a winter baby or not so it's 7 30 we haven't visibly progressed any farther but we have a lot of restlessness so she's up and down and up and down um, still and going from place to place. Now, we also are getting a lot of pine and a lot of baby talk. So, she's been off all day enough that even though I've been watching her because she's past her due date, uh, she's been acting odd enough, which is hard to explain, but when you know them, something's just different, and that's kind of what I picked up on. So, we're still waiting to see if we're gonna progress here. So again, no supper or coffee or anything for me because goats can progress really quickly. So by the time that I realized pistachio was in fact in labor, I think it happened all in maybe 15 minutes. So I don't wanna miss it uh, just in case, you know, she needs me and it's also a little bit of a miracle to see. So we're just gonna hang out with her um, until we see that there's no signs of labor or until we have a baby. So we got some fluid now, so it's happening. It's taken a little bit of time and uh, we're gonna have some action here soon. Oh, we got toes. Oh my God, we got toes. Looks like a white one. <laughs> she is definitely a quieter birther than pistache. Okay, so it is 
8.36 and we're waiting, but there's no false labor here. Is there baby girl? No. So we got a nice stream of liquid coming, so we got a little push earlier. And, uh, he's a good girl. We're just hanging out and, uh, we're gonna greet these little babies and hopefully they're healthy and happy and we got her in a kidding stall, so it's a smaller area, and uh, hopefully that will be a good spot for her. Now the weather, sorry, the weather this weekend, so there you go, I'll save the cooch shot for later. So today was one of the most wonderful days. It was so warm, too warm with a, with a sweater on. And tomorrow and the next day we have a call for a lot of rain. So it is staying warm. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. And we're gonna have some babies. <laughs> so. We also actually have Peanuts babies in here too, just answering uh, Winter's call for her babies. So it's 8.53 and we got pushes into the wall, but we got pushes. Nice boots.
you give a nice big push? There's the bag, boss. Looks like a white baby like last year. First white baby of the season! Okay. So it's now 9.06 with active labor. This is a big baby. So maybe not twins after all, maybe just, just the one, jeez. It's okay. Just take a minute if you need a minute.
right, guys, you didn't get to see the live one of that. Because the baby was too big and uh, was stuck. So we got her. There we go. There we go. So we got a nice little white baby. And it's like another boy. Sometimes, guys, you do have to help because uh, things can happen. Um, so this one was not coming out. And uh, this is a big baby. It's always really scary um, when things aren't going as easy. Now, Pistache had a really easy birth and... Uh, you know, winter did last year, and this year is, it's a big baby. It's a big baby. Oh, so winter grows them big. Uh, last year she had a big old baby too, so. Oh, what a sin, mama. You're a good girl. It's tiring. So, uh, I won't be surprised if this is the only baby, because this is a big one. First moments. Look at this ginormous freaking baby. Winter. You can grow them tiny, honey. Look at that chestnut on the leg. <gasps> first steps for baby. Yeah, first steps for baby. Yeah, Cujo, it's another baby. Look at the chestnut.
still in love with this chestnut. So it's not quite 24 hours, it's early morning and we just wanted to come in and make sure that everyone's okay. So Winder had a little bit of a hard birth. If anyone wants a fucking chicken. So it's not quite 24 hours later. And we wanted to, of course, come out and see how our babies are doing. And by babies, I also mean little Winter, because she did have a little bit of a hard birth there. This baby is a big boy. Hi, buddy. Hi, look how cute. Look how cute. Oh, my goodness. And he's standing. So let's just take a peek. They're so soft and fluffy. So let's just get a closer look at this handsome boy. Oh my god, you're hefty. Oh, alright. Alright. Let's look at you. Oh, look. You're so beautiful, little baby boy. Yeah. Look. So, Mama, I don't think is feeling the greatest today, but. We'll do our best. Of course, the lighting in the barn is just by a uh, OB flashlight, basically. But uh, what's really exciting is a little splash of color. So we got a little chestnut there. Um, so he seems to be doing good. His belly's full. So he's been drinking. And so I'm not too concerned. So soft. Look at you. Look at you. Look at that. Oh, oh, there's a bomb. There's a bomb. Oh, oh, oh there's a bomb. Oh my god, their little tail legs kill me. It's so sad that they lose it when they grow up and get all mature, unless you're like Valentine and he still does it. But, uh, we might, uh, I'm just gonna keep an eye on because it's winter. So look at this lovely chestnut. Such a big baby! Oh my goodness, she threw a big one. So you can see sometimes this happens. She's a good mom. Look at you. Yeah. So now it seems to be doing okay. I love the I love the foot. I just love it. So we've named this little dude Igloo, and uh, so Igloo is kind of saved for my friend at Grimrose Farms if if she uh, if she's wanting him so he's not available and if he does not go to Grimrose Farms um, as a little weather then he is staying here with us on the farm because winter throws amazing little babies yes and again I apologize it's really hard I forget to move the uh, the lamp when I'm filming here, so. But you can see he's standing. He's so good, he's looking for mama to get up. Yeah, he's looking for mama to get up. Isn't that so cute? Makes it all worth it, doesn't it, Winder? 